is 33-year-old Glenda. She fell in love with 68-year-old Roy. My wife is 35 years younger than I am. And when the pair met, Roy was dealing with his own battles. We met when I had first been diagnosed with prostate cancer. I didn't want to take especially a young, attractive woman through that. She said no, and her exact words were, I'm kind of a ride or die gal. Although Glenda was committing to Roy, not everyone was happy about this. Roy's older than my mom. My mom is 54 years old, so she definitely was not having it. And it's not just family who have their opinions. I get a lot of judgment sometimes being a younger wife. When I post a video on TikTok, you have a couple of those comments that come in like, oh, she's married just for the money. Wait when you start changing diapers. Your bank account was big. I love you, baby. I love you too. You're looking good. <laughs> yeah. You're looking like a million bucks. <laughs> I'm Roy. I'm 68 years old. And this is my lovely, beautiful wife. Hi, I'm Glenda. I am 33 years old and I did meet Roy when he'd just been diagnosed with prostate cancer. The way that we met was professionally through business. She reached out to me and wanted to sit down and talk because I owned and worked in an insurance company and a real estate company and she was doing the same thing. So we just wanted to meet and compare notes. I realized I was attracted to her immediately. After we had our meeting and it started to feel a little bit like there was a romantic interest, walked outside, she had gotten in her car and I started to get in my car and I thought, you know, I need to make this very clear what my intentions are. So I walked the length of the parking lot, tapped on her window, uh, she rolled it down and I said, I want to make this very clear that this is my attempt at a first date. I'd like to take you to, and I named a nice restaurant here in Anchorage. And I said, would you be interested in going? And she said, yes, I would. And so we drove out and we had about a two or three hour conversation with a nice dinner and that kind of set the tone for everything. So. I called that uh, my James Bond moment. The first impression of him was, wow, he's very funny, he's super confident. He just made a joke like, oh, am I too old to date you? And I, was, I made a joke back and said, it's just, just a number. And that's just how we just started flirting with each other. So I felt good about it. That was when I knew I had a shot when she said age is just a number. Because <laughs> that's a big number difference. The kind of guys that I'm attracted to, to be honest with you, I like guys that are older than me because I feel like they've already lived life, they've done all the partying, you know, they're just ready to settle down or be in a serious relationship. And so to me, that's just what I prefer. In my culture, I'm from Africa, where a man tends to be more older than the wife. So to me, the age wasn't really a thing. It's like, I know it's a different culture than most Western world and the age is a big thing. We've been married for a little over a year. So this is called Escogo Soup. It's very spicy. Let's see if Roy can handle this. He knows I do not do well with spicy foods, and that's not a white boy thing, that's just a Roy thing. This is the, the soup that's gonna clean you. Hmm. How do you like the soup? It's good. It's definitely, um, it's definitely spicy. Like, I, I need a glass of water, baby. Ice water, in case of that's the snail. Isn't it good? It's really good. You gotta chew it a lot. Yeah, it's definitely chewing. This is the magic soup that's gonna keep Roy looking like base, whatever. <laughs> when I met Glenda, I had just been diagnosed with prostate cancer just a short time beforehand. There's some questions about, you know, your sexuality as a man. You know, there's some concern about it. I didn't want to take especially a young, attractive woman through that. She said no, and her exact words were, kind of a ride or die gal. I've worked in healthcare for a very long time, so it's like anybody that has health condition doesn't mean you're gonna die. So she went through it with me. She helped through the whole process and helped take care of me. To me, it was very clear from the beginning that this was a very and sincere- And we weren't married then or anything, we're just, we're just dating, you know. Roy's very realistic and he always says, honey, there's gonna be a time I'm gonna age faster and you have a whole life ahead of you. So we do have those conversations, but I don't ever see them think, oh my God, my husband is older. What will life be 10 years from now? I'm just enjoying my husband at this moment every day because we have such a great life going on right now. Nice, beautiful view. It is. Very such nice a nice view. view. Exercise is important to me because not only do I want to extend my life, but I want to extend the quality of my life. So I'm trying to stay in good enough condition to where I can still stay very active as long as I can during my lifetime. So I exercise every day. Okay. 
Let me wait, I'll get my sunglasses on. My mom had her own opinions. Roy's older than my mom. My mom is 54 years old, so she definitely was not having it. For me personally, I don't consult with family. It's that the opinion would never matter. Whether they say yes or no, it's just okay, that's your opinion. Make this work, baby. But as she gets to know Roy, she's gotten to know him in our relationship, she feels more comfortable now. And she's happy for us and she just wants me happy. The age gap thing to most of my African friends wasn't a thing, but it was mostly the interracial relationship. And they're like, how is it like dating a white guy, especially an older white guy? And I'm like, what? It's just like being in a relationship with any other person. Babe, you can actually pull long I hair. So <laughs> <laughs> when I post a video on TikTok, most of the comments honestly are positive comments. But you have a couple of those ones that come in and throw something in there like, oh, she's married just for the money. Wait when you start changing diapers. Your bank account must be big. She's just his dinner meal. He's marrying a grandpa and a chief man. And I say, yeah, he's a sexy grandpa for sure. <laughs> People tend to have all these stereotypes. Oh, she's coming from Africa, it must be for a green cat. Well, not for a green cat because I already have my citizenship before I met him. Oh, she's there for the money. It's not real, she's going to be gone. Well, if that was the case, I could still take money from my account and be gone. I'm still here. Most of the comments are very positive. You know, people saying, hey, he looks really good for his age. I can't believe he's that age. I have girls sending me messages like, oh my God, does he have a brother? Do you, can you hook us up with a white guy? We know that people can have their opinions, they can have their judgment, because of course there's an age gap there. We can't change that. Do I wish that we were closer in age, that the age gap was smaller? Of course I do. It, it creates a much more opportunity for longevity in the relationship but I'm comfortable being my age. You know, I tell her if something happened to me tomorrow and I passed away, I lived a wonderful life. And so I'm very happy with where I'm at. And if somebody has an opinion about it, of course they should have opinions about it, but they should keep it themselves. And even if they put it out there, I just don't care because I don't need that validation. Just understand that words are powerful and that if you don't know a lot, you might want to just hold your judgment until you learn a lot more. Right now, we're going through an IVF journey to have a baby. Maybe two. Baby two kids, so that'll be very exciting. Oh my goodness, now you're going to have kids. <laughs> yep, we are. That's the life that we chose to live. He's going to be one of the oldest father alive. Probably exactly. 70 years old by the time we have our kids. I understand I'll be a much older father, uh, but hopefully I'll be around as long as I can, and I'll be as important as I can in their life. I may not be at 80 throwing a baseball with them, but I'll find other ways to to help him and be a good father. She's a remarkable woman on her own, doesn't yes. need me. We just enrich each other's lives, at least that's how I yeah, feel, babe. that's how I feel, so. <laughs>